Time and Labor Saving Equipment. Hello! Karibu nyumbani. Asante sana. Jim? Yes, ma'am. Make the visitor comfortable, then come here. All right. Get the food warmer ready. We have no time to waste. Besides, more guests will be arriving soon. That sounded like a time and labor saving equipment to me. My point exactly. So other than the food warmer, others in this group include dishwashers, hmm. potato peelers, food mincers, kettles, toasters, microwaves, food mixers, blenders, and so on. Oh. So they could be either large or small in size. You can say that. Like I said earlier, they are made to ease food preparation by making it faster, energy saving, and very convenient. Also, most of them are expensive and more effective to use in big hotels, mm -hmm. schools, and hospitals where food is prepared in large scale. Wow. I must admit, I'm not familiar with most of them. I understand, son. I'll touch on them briefly, but you can research deeply on your own. That's all right. Food warmers. These are also known as bain-marie. They are used to hold food at safe temperature until it is ready for consumption. They are mostly powered by electricity, while there are a few that uses fire. I see, but it can hold one type of food at a time. Sure. So you will need a lot of them when you have a lot of visitors. Hmm. Dishwashers are machines that clean dishes on their own. Can you believe that, son? That must save a lot of labor and time. You are talking like someone who doesn't like to clean dishes. Hmm. But anyway, you're right. Moving on, food mixers are kitchen utensils that are designed for baking purposes. Food mixers are of two kinds, hmm. that is, hand mixer and stand mixer. Hand mixers are small, handheld, electric mixers with metal beaters that help to mix, whip, and whisk foods. The stand mixers, on the other hand, hmm. has a fixed stand and a mixing bowl. They have an advantage over hand mixers since they have additional accessories such as blenders, meat mincers, pasta makers, food processors, and so on. Wow, I can only imagine how expensive these equipment are. They are quite expensive, my dear. Deep fat fryers, on the other hand, are a type of kitchen equipment that heat cooking oils so that foods can be totally covered in hot oil to be fry cooked. They are built for domestic and commercial purposes. Mm. And um, what about liquidizers? That is another name for the blenders. Oh, I know what blenders are. They are used to mix and turn solid food, especially fruits, into liquid form, right? Correct. Food mincers, on the other hand, are kitchen machines used to chop foods such as meat, vegetables, or fish. They are commonly used to produce minced meat, also known as nyamakima. In Kiswahili? Yeah. So they have replaced small tools like, um, uh, I mean, mincing knives? You can say so. And finally, since these equipment are very expensive, hmm. they need proper care and maintenance. Always adhere to the manufacturer's instructions when using these gadgets. Hmm. Use them for their specific purposes. And in case of damage, consult a technician or the manufacturer. Mom, mm -hmm. I promise to buy your dishwasher when I start earning real money myself. That would be very nice, my son. Now, I guess you want to go over what we have discussed before we start serving the food. No problem. Time and labor saving equipment. They're designed to make cooking faster and convenient. Mm -hmm. Some of these equipment include dishwashers, food mincers, and uh, food warmers. They need proper care and maintenance to prevent damage. Great! 
Hey, get that bowl away from the cooker. You know what can happen, right? It can melt. Because it is plastic. All right. Let us celebrate your birthday. Come tomorrow. We shall talk about plastics and many, many more. Happy birthday. Thank you, mom. I am getting a birthday cake today. If you don't burn my plastics bowl, then maybe I can think about it. <laughs>